Okay, so this is where I keep my foundations, um, concealers, blushers, all that kind of stuff. We're going to focus on foundation to start off with. Apologies if my voice is still a little bit raspy because I've been sick and also my nails need doing, but like I said, I've been sick so can't have everything perfect. So you see I have a lot of foundation here. This is one drawer and this is a second drawer. I was telling you in my last video that I have decluttered a lot of makeup lately but one thing I haven't touched is foundation and even the way this drawer is like how messy it is is really bugging me it is killing me it has never been this messy in my life and yeah I'm about to go insane with it so I want to definitely get rid of a lot of foundation today there is too much in here so many colors that don't match me there's some that's gone off and stuff as well so we need to just do a huge clear out. So I'm going to clear all this stuff out now and speed it up for you. clean drawer I think the best thing to do now would be to start putting back in the foundations that I know I love and want to keep and then we can work through the ones that I'm not so sure about towards the end okay NARS radiant longwear foundation I have the shades Oslo and Vienna they're my two most used shades definitely want to keep that we have the Huda Beauty faux filter foundation another favorite want to keep that okay I have Four of the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundations. I don't need to keep them all. I think two of them, or one of them is really pink on me. I'm trying to remember. This is the shade 1.5. It's a really light, pale shade for when I'm not wearing fake tan, which is great. Then I have the shade 2, which is like not wearing fake tan, but like a little bit of residue. So I have kind of like a yellow tint on my neck and stuff. It's actually the shade I'm wearing today, it's quite pale. Then I have the shade 4, which is like my tan colour, or I mix it with the shade 2 to get, you know, the right shade. I'm always fake tanning, so I'm always mixing. And then there's 3.25. Oh my god, that's dirty. Let's have a look. That's not a bad colour either. I might just keep all of these because... Whether it's for mixing with other foundations or, you know, just wearing lots of different colours and fake tanning. I really do like this foundation. I have another shade. This is 3.5. Hmm. This one is more pink. I'm going to let that one go. That's the one I was thinking of. I have the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in the shade G20. I really like this, whether it's for mixing or as a foundation on its own. I was about to put these ones in. This is the Clinique Super Balance Silk Makeup. Um, I have the shades 7 and 6. I'm definitely more of a 7 when I'm fake tanned. 6 is too pink for me and too dark for me when I'm light, so that needs to go. But um, I think I'm actually going to get rid of both of these. I think I've had them for too long, but I do love this foundation. It might be one I need to pick back up. I need to write a list, actually, of ones that have gone off. But I need to pick them back up. Okay, so these are going in the bin. Have the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place makeup. I really like this. I haven't worn it in a long time though. Um, I thought I had more shades than this, but only two left. That's probably why I haven't worn it in a while. I have the shade 2N1 and 2W2. So I think I'm going to get rid of this shade because I don't tend to use a shade that dark anymore and keep this one. It's also on its last legs, I'd say. These are some of my favourite Bobbi Brown foundations. We have the Skin Foundation, that's in the shade Warm Beige 3.5. I have a very random shade selection in general, guys, because I do fake tan and my skin tone is always up and down. Um, this is the shade, oh, sorry. <laughs> this is the shade 3.5 in the Skin Foundation stick. And then we have the Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation, full cover, oil-free, shine control. I have the shades 
zero and two i definitely need a darker shade in that one but i want to keep all those i love bobby foundations i'm also going to keep the hourglass stick foundation the is it the vanish stick foundation i have three shades here i have the shades beige buff and bisque let's have a look so that's obviously my tan shade that's the shade beige we have bisque which is like a medium shade probably when I'm in the middle of tanning or at the end of a tan. And then we have buff, which has got slightly more pink to it. I feel like these two mixed together would be a better shade for me when I'm like in a mid fake tan and this is a good dark tan shade. Hmm, yeah, I'm gonna keep those. I just think stick foundations are great anyway to have around and mixing and matching. It's a really nice coverage too. I was going to put in the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua and Perfection Lumiere Velvet. These are actually amazing mixed together. <laughs> it's like the perfect foundation mixed together um, rather than on their own. But I've had both of these for quite a while, so I'm going to get rid. You can see there's a running theme here of me having a lighter and a darker shade in most foundations. This, I don't know why this is so stained. Can you even see that? It's really annoying me. Um, this is the Fenty foundation. I have a light shade. This is the shade 110 and I have the shade 200. Honestly, this is a foundation that I've only used a couple of times. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. I think I need to have a little bit more of a play, so I'm going to pop it back in here. I have another Bobbi Brown foundation. This is the Intensive Skin Serum foundation. I'm going to let this one go though because I've had it for quite a while. This is the Marc Jacobs Genius Gel Foundation. I've only used this once. I picked it up at Sephora and I haven't had a chance to really use it properly. So I want to give it another go. I liked it though. I totally forgot I had this foundation and I used to really like it. It's the Stila Stay All Day Foundation and Concealer. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to use that again. We have the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. This is my favorite drugstore foundation, I think. Well, one of them anyway. It's awesome, very glowy. Such a good formula for a drugstore brand. Also from the drugstore, the Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation. Also going to pop back in L'Oreal True Match. I definitely need to do a, another drugstore video soon. I haven't done one in ages. Now we're starting to move on to foundations that um, I'm questioning a little bit more. Oh, I love this. This is the YSL Le Cushion Foundation, Fusion Ink Cushion Foundation. This is amazing, but it's definitely time to go. There's just nothing left, but I really need to get this again. It's so good. I have another shade in the Stila Stay All Day. It's the shade two. So again, same running theme of having two shades for mixing. I have the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. This is great and such a good coverage. I'll keep that. I have the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. I loved this, used it to death, but I think it's just time to say goodbye. It is definitely in need of replacing. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter Hollywood Foundation. I use this more as like a primer underneath foundations. Yes, it does give you some coverage, but it's far too glossy and slippy for my skin. It just wouldn't stay on me. I've, I have dry skin too, but it just I just know it wouldn't stay. So I use this underneath the foundation if I want it to be more glowy. So it's really nice for that use. I'm going to let go of the Light Wonder foundation because it's all separated and stuff. It definitely needs to go. This is the La Prairie Skin Caviar Concealer and Foundation. This is so expensive. It's not even funny, but it is beautiful. I wonder if it's gone off or not. I haven't used it in ages. I wonder if it's gone off or not. I really would like to keep it. The shade is a bit dark for me though, unless I'm really fake tanned. Let's see. It still smells good and it was so expensive. I did have it gifted to me, but I think I'm gonna keep that one for when I'm like super bronzed and want a really beautiful luxury foundation. <laughs> Sorry, I just washed my hands if they look a little bit wet. So I'm at a middle ground now where the next few foundations I'm going to do, I'm going to pop up here because they're foundations that I have yet to try and that I want to use in the next few weeks. So I'm gonna put them in the separate drawer. These are the Bourjois Healthy Mix BB Creams. I want to give those more of a go. I was sent a bajillion of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. And I have not got around to using it yet. I don't know how I managed to skip that. I do not need all these shades, so I'm gonna try and pick out a couple of shades now. 
Again, probably just like a light one, a medium one, a dark one. So I'm thinking that looks really pink. Maybe not. They're both the same. Okay, so get rid of one of those. Do I have lots of the same? I do. Was I sent this range twice? I think I must have been sent it twice. Okay, so I have that a double. I have that one in a double. I have that one in a double. Yeah, oh my god, I must have been sent this twice. I definitely need to give these away to my friends. So we have 202 Creamy Natural. That looks like a good yellow-based kind of pale shade. I'm naturally pink undertoned or neutral undertoned, but I hate wearing pink foundation, so that's just a personal preference. I'll probably get rid of this 201 because it just looks so pink. And then I'm going to keep, I'll get rid of 208 because that looks super dark. And then I'll keep two, three, four, and seven and have a little go of those next week or something. All of these ones, oh, are going to a better home. So we have the Marc Jacobs Shameless Foundation. I've heard mixed reviews about this, so I definitely want to give it a go. I've only used it once and yeah, I'm not really sure how I felt, so it needs another go. I got this a while ago. It's the Mecca Max Life Proof Foundation. I think my friend Rachel, I heard her mention it on my friend Arna's channel that she loves it. I meant to use this the minute it came in the door, but as you can see, like I had so many foundations that it must have got lost in the middle. So this I definitely want to use in the next week and give it a go. I have the shade Light Beige number four. I have the Sampar Crazy Cream, which is kind of like a tone adjusting BB cream. It adjusts to your skin tone, um, as far as I know. Definitely want to give that a try. I don't use a heap of BB creams, but they are nice for doing errands and you know running to the gym and stuff. I have this La Mer foundation, it is the Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation. I think I used it once and I'm not really sure how I felt, I need to give it another go. There's so many foundations that I use them once they come in and then I just, you know, I'm busy so I go back to my normal foundations that I love and I don't give them a proper go so I need to like take it out of the drawer for about a week and use it as much as I can in that week. I haven't used these two um, Shiseido foundations. This is the Shiseido Future Solution Total Radiance Foundation in a pot which is really unusual. Mm. Give that a go. And the tinted gel cream which is I'm assuming a tinted moisturizer. This is another La Prairie foundation. I never gave this a proper go either. I think because it's so expensive I was kind of like oh would my audience even want me to like talk about this but now I see so many people reviewing really expensive foundations and stuff, and I think it is something you guys want to know about, so I need to give them more of a go. Okay, we're getting to more of the middle ground now, so I'm going to pop a few more foundations down here. I have a bunch of shades of the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Foundation, and this is such, such a good foundation. It is really lightweight but long wearing. I think so many people would love this. And if you're in hot weather at the moment, it's probably a great foundation for looking summery and fresh, but also staying on your face. I have a bunch of shades that I really need to go through. I'm not going to go through them now because they're in like a pour bottle and it will just go everywhere. So I'm going to keep all the shades and go through them at a later stage. I used to really like the Velvet Matte Skin Tint by NARS, but I think these need to go. They're a bit old now. They've seen their day. Also, the Burberry Bright Glow Foundation needs to go. I really like this, but it just has to go. I have the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. They both look full, but they're definitely both really light and feel really empty. I'm going to keep one just in case, you know, I want to use it in a video. Get a couple of pumps out of it. I have NC20 and 25. Should I keep both? No, nah, it, it literally sounds like it's gone, so I'm just going to keep one. And it's something that I'd need to replace if I wanted it again. I have another shade of this Mecca foundation actually, which is great. So lots to try. I loved this BB cream. This is the Burt's Bees BB cream. I made a video on it before, I think. I think it was like a natural makeup tutorial. This is one of my favorite BB creams of all time. It's the kind of makeup that like just, it looks like you're wearing nothing, but it just blurs your skin. I don't know why I loved it so much, I just did. I had the shades light, medium, and medium, but these definitely have to go, it's bin time. I'm going to get rid of the Nude by Nature Flawless Liquid Foundations. 
I'm going to get rid of the Benefit Hello Flawless foundation. It's just time to go. I don't even remember when I got this. I'm going to keep the YSL Touche Eclat foundation. I hope this is okay. It's a really nice foundation. It smells okay. It's kind of like the same as the Bourjois Healthy Mix if you wanted a dupe for it. Actually, this one needs to go up here because I want to give it more of a go. I might also pop Fenty up there because I haven't used that as often. And then this way, when I open the store, I'm like, okay, these are the ones that I want to use ASAP and figure out what they're like properly. This is the Givenchy Mati Matissimi Velvet Foundation. It's just a bit too matte for me as far as I remember, so I'm going to give that one up. I have the Guerlain Lingerie de Peau Foundation. I do like this as far as I remember. I'm going to pop it up here to remind me to use it sooner so that I can figure it out. Also the Lingerie de Peau Aqua Nude. I have no idea what I thought of that one. I need to remind myself. Same goes for these Bare Minerals foundations. Um, I need to give them a proper test out and get rid of them if I think I don't like them then. It's harder when it comes to foundations than it was for eyeshadows and stuff because foundation you really need to have it on your skin you know, see what it's like day to day. Whereas eyeshadow, you can kind of tell pretty quickly whether you like it or not. I'm going to keep the Clinique BIY Blend It Yourself pigment drops because they're great for customization. I have no intention of being a freelance makeup artist, but if I did want to do my friend's makeup or a client makeup, they're a great thing to have. I'm also going to keep all of my sample sizes of the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation for the same reason. If I did want to do one of my friend's makeup, whether they were very dark skinned or very light skinned or somewhere in the middle, I would have a shade to match them. And this is a wonderful foundation, so if I was doing someone's makeup, this would be something I would like to use. I'm going to get rid of the By Terry Light Expert Click Brush. This is quite nice, but I'm just going to give it up now. I don't use it enough. Keeping the Nude by Nature Flawless Liquid Foundation. Giving up the Body Shop Fresh Nude Foundation. I know my sister loves this and she'll get so much more wear out of it than I will. I'm going to keep two BB creams here. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear All Day Glow. The shade 2 Intensity and the Nude by Nature Sh Sheer Glow BB Cream. I'm going to give up the L'Oreal Glam Beige Healthy Glow Foundation. And also the L'Oreal True Match Minerals. I just haven't been reaching for this and I think it will get better use one of my friends instead of just wasting it on myself. I have a bunch of cushion foundations here. I really liked the Lancome one, but it's gone for sure. And we have this 3CE one, a Shiseido one, and a Shuamura one. Quite frankly, none of them really stick out in my mind, so I'm guessing I didn't really like them too much. To be honest, I do reach for a more like bottle and brush kind of solution most days, so I would keep this one if I was going to keep any of them, but it's definitely gone now. Get rid of all these. And lastly, I have the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Cushion Stick Foundation that was hiding amongst all of the mess. I'm gonna keep that there. So that is it. We have a lot more space now, which is awesome. It feels so good. Definitely have a lot of foundation still, but the reason being is that we have so many shades. It's always about being able to mix and match shades, it's one of the most important things for me because I am a fake tanner and I go from so pale to medium to quite bronze. It's important to have an array of shades. I'm also such a big lover of mixing and matching formulas too or even using darker shades of foundation as a bronzer because they blend so nicely into foundation. So that's why I'm a big base person, but each to their own. I'm really excited to delve further into all of these foundations up here for sure. That is all I have for you in this video. I will be uploading another one soon on maybe blusher or bronzer or highlight, something like that. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you then really soon.